So we need to have this dialogue as how we can transform education into something meaningful for all young people so that the question won't be who will succeed, it will be everybody will succeed. When you think about what we need to do with Sikorsky and Pratt and & Whitney and Electric Boat, and those are really advanced manufacturing jobs that are high-tech, high-skill, high-wage jobs. And if we don't have the kids who are prepared and ready for those jobs of the 21st century, we're going to have a very hard time attracting even more of those types of companies or growing those companies in the state of Connecticut. You know, we're still basically in the old industrial model of schooling that uh, that uh, came up during the Industrial Revolution and worked so well when the majority of our jobs uh, were in manufacturing. As Ted Sizer said, you know, in an interconnected system, you change one thing, almost everything has to change. And it's that kind of comprehensive change that we're talking about tonight. And how do we, what lessons do we derive from this? What are the implications for our schools? How do we do better for the children uh, of Norwalk based upon uh, our knowledge of how the world is, uh, is changing? I think there's going to be a lot of tensions in growing from kind of where we currently are and some of the fights that we're currently having around education to this new place that I think we really need to go and um, wrestling with lots of questions about equity as we get there, when we know that there are lots of kids right now who are currently not being served very well in this system and wondering how we try to both achieve equity and ensure um, partly through measurement and other things that kids are getting, all kids are getting what they need while also creating the freedom and the space to explore. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with learning to unleash, um, sort of sort of train and unleash the power of professionals to do their job um, and learning how to trust but verify. Being able to have both work in, in a parallel manner, uh, this context where uh, we're just not focusing on college but getting our kids for these work ready skills that we really don't talk about, professionalism, collaboration, uh, creativity, innovation. Um, those are the things that I think that we have to embrace in education because when we think about educational reform and context, uh, there's no one policy prescription that we can identify or one program is really adaptive and we have to be able to uh, change with the new wave of education moving from that industrial paradigm to this information paradigm. The greatest learning experience I ever had in school was my history teacher in uh, 11th grade. Uh, he, we were learning American history and it was freezing. I grew up in the small potato town in Amagansett at the end of Long Island. And uh, he said, okay, for today, for American history, you're gonna go sit outside. It was January 20th and it was cold as hell. And he said, you're gonna sit out and you're gonna learn about Gettysburg and you will not bring a coat. And we sat out there for three hours. I know a lot about Gettysburg today and I never forgot it. I think today in the legislature we have a, a real, we have a situation where I think most people want to work together, but even those who don't are gonna have to this time because we're, we're all very close at this stage. So um, I think this is going to be a wonderful year in education, an, an interesting year, a year when all ideas will be at the table and where we all must uh, uh, really listen to each other. I think that there are ways to take incremental steps. You can call it tweaking, but I do think it's, you can take an incremental approach, and I think the schools are with a lot more project-based learning and student-centered activities. And I mean, if we have a direction, you may not all get there to the same extent, but at least if you have a direction, um, moving away from the textbook and away from the rote learning and away from the just the, the deadly stuff that we all remember from school. Um, that's, that's a positive thing to walk away with.